have to get the ball to him in a bit of space. He's just been tracked down, and again, I was questioning their fitness. It's maybe being a little bit disrespectful, but it's been wonderful that Diana here, because what they're going to do is they're going to go back and learn from this experience, and they will prepare for next year and hopefully qualify through to Hong Kong next year. Mayers is the man that's going to get us underway, Ronald Mayers. And so seven minutes left for both of these sides. It is the ranking final here at the HSBC Sevens World Series. Of course, Cathay Pacific, the major sponsor as well. Great to have them on board. And Uruguay in their traditional blue strip. There's one of the try scorers from the first half. And Schmidt. Now look at the width that Uruguay are going to play now. If they can switch the ball back, they've got their, um, their wingman right out here on the near touchline. Great driving forward there from Jovet. Darting down the blind side is the captain, Albanel. And just using the short channels, probably not aware of the space that they have got because they'd men right across the park, didn't they? Not a quick throw here from Guyana. It could go against them, actually, because Albanel is chasing up for Uruguay. Great work there from... Gonsalves. Well, they're playing on. And look how, look at, look, there's no depth at all. Look, you can throw a blanket around all seven players from Guyana. <laughs> this yeah, is, should we be half the pitch for them? Staglin now gets a wide to McKenzie. McKenzie inside, outside, looking for support that's gone forward possibly. Still advantage. Well, it's gone backwards according to the Argentinian referee, Henry. The loop. This is Butts now with some space. No sweeper in behind, so the chip kick. How's the bounce? Perfect. Has he got enough pace and power? No, he hasn't. Good tackle coming in from Mieres. Now it's back to Schmidt. Schmidt with an open field. If he breaks the first tackle, he could go all the way and will. Chased by Giles, but he's not going to be able to track him down. What a run from Schmidt, his second try, Uruguay's fourth. Yeah, Rupert Giles almost caught his man. But Ian Schmidt in for the try, still not dotted it down yet. Don't wear pressure it is. Bring on the oxygen. And uh, the signal to the bench, could I have a rest please? Look, he went almost the full distance, didn't he? That's the five metre line on his own line there. But he knew there was bags and acres of space because Uruguay because uh, Guyana hadn't set their lining defence and as a result Smith outflanked them and yeah, no sweeper in behind either so Claudius Butts on that occasion got the right bounce just the turnover there no support once he got it well, there's no stopping him there you can see very warm conditions here in Hong Kong Well, it's a matter of pride now for Guyana, isn't it? Wanting to try and obviously get a try. Yeah, They're very not much. Not going to win the game. Well, they haven't um, performed too well. well they've performed, performed well, but they, they did get that win over China. Important win for them, seven points to five earlier on this morning, which got them into this final position. This is all experience for them. Well, they've brought on one of the more experienced players of the Guyana team as well. Talking to him at the, at the hotel earlier this week is. Uh, Walter George, you'll be pleased with this. Scott, put a smile on your face about veterans staying in the game. There he is, he's got the bandages on his arms and just walking towards the line out. 37 years young, the oldest player probably at the tournament, just heading to the front of the line out there. Walter George. Thirty-seven, he's a spring chicken. <laughs> Good set piece from Uruguay. This should be their fifth try. Uh, knocked it forward and so a chance now to break out. Guyana still all bunched together and now they look for some space and Claudius Butts is out to his left. Instead he gives it to Myers. What can Guyana do from their own 22? One way, then the other. This is another man that's just come on and Richard Staglin. Could be a turnover here to Uruguay. Good counter ruck, good power coming in from Kevin McKenzie as well. Here's Walter George. Can he go 90 metres? No, he can't. Good hands shown by Guyana. Butts. 
because I'd love to see him wind up. Those big legs pumping. And here he goes. He's got a player out to the right. Not a good pass, but it hasn't gone forward. Yes, it has, says the referee. You sometimes wonder if Butsu just backed his pace there. And that's yes. gone. Yes. Well, look at that. They've completed the most passes. Sadly, though, they've only scored four tries. Right throughout the time. And Claudius Butts' best memory actually was here in Hong Kong in 2009, where he says his best player or favourite player at the time was uh, Fijian William Ryder. Talk about pace from William Ryder. He used to leave scorch mark marks <laughs> on the grass here. He was that quick. Yeah, he's up in Japan now, playing his trade there at the uh, Toyota Club. And I'm not too sure whether he's re signed again. Huge loss to the Seventh Circuit because he was such a wonderful player. Well, was William Ryder. And guilty of uh, holding on to the ball. This is going to go to Guyana. Staglin. Gonsalves is their captain who will tap. They'll take away the memories from this. Scott, and as you say, at least they'll take it back home and hopefully we'll see Guyana back in Hong Kong in the future as well. Oh, very much so. They've got some very skillful players. Rupert Giles just took the ball into contract there. Contact. Uh, Kevin McKenzie has been one of their standout players as well, Claudius Butts. These guys are all making names for themselves. And here is Giles. Here's one of the guys you're talking about. Now they look to push it wide. This is much better play. McKenzie bobbling it. Myers is there. He has to go down and then quickly to his feet. More penalties. Is it just me or does it seem to be every time there was a breakdown that there's going to be a penalty to one team or the other? And now Uruguay, too much pace and power here. Try number five, Favaro. Federico Favaro has just come on the field. Well, the clock just winding down here. Ten seconds. Uruguay not particularly troubled in this tie. But just good awareness again. They're just, a, just more experience here from Federico Favaro, knew where the space was, stepped and stretched the defence. Simple try for Uruguay, and it's actually been a bit of a, a stroll in the park for them to win this ranking final. That's the final siren, and so after 14 minutes, Uruguay far too good in the ranking points, beating Guyana by 31 points to nil.